this is how you can make an economy system for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started now keep in mind this is part two so if you haven't watched part one go ahead and do that the link will be in the description before i show you how to do this i would like to say that you can get the source code from my videos by joining my channel memberships you can do this by clicking the join button next to my username or the link in the description below if you get the super god or custom bot tier you'll get access to that source code which will allow you to copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot if any of this seems interesting to you go ahead and click the join button next my username and let's go ahead and actually get started so we're going to start off by going over to community and we're just going to go ahead and create deposit.js in this video we're going to go ahead and create deposit with a draw and we're going to go ahead and create the rob command so we can start off with deposit by doing const and we'll do slash command builder we can do embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js then we can get our economy schema so we can do const eco schema equals require and in here we're going to do dot dot slash dot dot slash schema slash economy schema then we can do module.exports equals we'll go ahead and open this up we can say data and that is going to be new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name the name is going to be deposit then we can go ahead and set a description which is going to be deposit money and then we can add a string option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name and in here this is going to be amount then we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be the amount of money you want to deposit and then we can go ahead and set required and that is going to be set to true then we can add a comma we'll do async execute we can do interaction and then we'll go ahead and open this up all right so down here we're going to go ahead and get a couple of things so we can do cons we're going to do options We'll do user and we can do guild and we'll do equals interaction. Now we can do const amount equals options that get string and that is going to be amount. Then we can do const data equals await eco schema dot find one and that is going to be guild. For our guild, we'll do interaction dot guild dot id and for our user, we can do user dot id. Now we can say if no data, we're going to return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and in here we can say please create an economy account first. And we're going to go ahead and make this informal. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to say if amount dot to lowercase. And then we can do equals 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 all. We can go ahead and open this up. And we're going to say if and we'll do data dot wallet equals 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 zero. We can return await interaction or apply. And we're going to say content. And in here we can say you have no money to deposit. And we'll make this informal as well. And then we can come down here and do data dot bank. And we're going to do plus equals data dot wallet. And then we're going to do data dot wallet equals zero just like that and then we can do a with data dot save now we can come down here and return a with interaction dot apply and we're going to say content in here we can say all your money has been deposited and we'll make this informal as well now we're going to come down here and we're going to say else we can open this up and in here we're going to do const converted equals number and we're going to get amount and then we're going to say if is nan so is not a number and we'll say converted and then we can do equals 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 true we can return await interaction dot apply and we're going to say content in here we can say the amount can only be a number or and then we can do backslash tick and then we can say all and then we can do backslash take again and we're going to make this informal as well so now we're going to come down here we're going to say if data.wallet is less than and then we can do parse int and we're going to go ahead and say converted and then we can do the or and we can say converted equals 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 infinity then we can return await interaction dot apply and in here we're going to say content and we can say you don't have enough money in your wallet to deposit it into your bank we can make this informal as well now we can come down here and say data.bank and we'll do plus equals and we'll do parse int and we're going to say converted and then we can come down here and we can do data.wallet and we'll do minus equals parse int and we're going to say converted as well and then we can come down here and we can say data.wallet equals math.abs and we can do data.wallet and then we can come down here and say await data.save just like that and we can make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can say color and that is going to be blue we can say a title and in here we can say deposit success we can set a description and in here we can say successfully and we can put a money sign open 
open this up we'll do parse int and here we can say converted and then we can say deposited into your bank and just like that we can come down here and actually send this so we can do wait interaction dot reply we're gonna say embeds and we can pass in our embed and just like that and one more thing we can actually add a return here as well so now we are actually done with the deposit command so now we're gonna move on to the withdraw command to actually take money out of the bank into our wallet so we can actually go ahead and copy this and we can go over to community and we're gonna do withdraw.js we can go ahead and paste it in here we're gonna start by changing a couple things so this is going to be withdraw and we can say withdraw money and in here the amount of money you would like to withdraw all right so we're gonna keep everything up here the same because it's still gonna be the same if statements for that so in here we're gonna change data.wallet to data.bank equals 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 zero and we can say you have no money to withdraw we can come down here and change this to data.wallet and this can be data.bank and then we can do data.bank equals zero just like that and we can keep data.save as well and down here we can say all your money has been withdrawn into your wallet now down here we're just going to go ahead and change this to you do not have enough money in your bank to withdraw it into your wallet just like that then down here we can change this to data.wallet and then plus equals converted and we can do data.bank minus equals converted and down here we'll do data.bank and in here we'll do data.bank as well then we can say withdraw success and successfully withdrawed into your wallet the last thing we're going to do for the withdraw command is we're just going to change this to data.bank the last thing we're going to do for both the withdraw and the deposit commands is we're actually going to make one more if statement that i did forget about so right under here we're going to do if and then we're going to do amount dot starts with and in here we can do a string and we'll do a negative number then we can just return await interaction to reply we say content and in here we can say you cannot withdraw a negative amount of money let me make this informal so we can actually go ahead and copy this if statement we can go back over to our deposit command we can go right under here and we can change this to you cannot deposit a negative amount of money just like that so now we can move over to the rob command so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our withdraw or our deposit command and we can just copy it and we're gonna go back over to community and we're just gonna go ahead and create rob.js we can go ahead and paste it down here so at the top the first thing that we're gonna change is we're gonna do var timeout and we're gonna make an empty array then we can change the name to rob for our description we can say rob a person's money just like that we can replace our string option right here with a user option so we can do dot add user option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name for the name we're going to get our user and we can set a description and for our description we can say pick the user who you want to rob and we can go ahead and set required and we're going to make this true as well so in here we're going to keep the first statement right here but we're just going to go ahead and actually delete everything else because we're not going to need it so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to say if timeout dot includes and we're going to do interaction dot user dot id we can just return await interaction dot apply and we can say content and we can say wait one minute to rob another user again and we can make this informal now we can do const user stealing equals options that get user and we're going to get our user now we can do let data equals await eco schema dot find one and we're going to guild and we're going to get guild dot id and we're going to do user and we're going to get user dot id now we can say let data user equals await eco schema dot find one and we're going to get our guild and that is going to be guild.id and then for our user we're just going to do user stealing.id now we can come down here and say if no data we can return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say please create an economy account first and we can make this informal then we can say if user stealing equals equals and we can say interaction.user we can return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say you cannot rob yourself we're gonna make this informal as well now we can do if no at a user we can return await interaction dot reply and we can say content and we can say that user does not have an economy account created make this informal as well now we can say if data dot user now we can say if now we can say if and we'll do data user dot wallet is less than or equal to zero we can return await interaction dot reply and we're going to say content and in here we can say that user does not have any money in their wallet and we're going to make this informal now we're going to go ahead and get a couple of numbers so we can do let negative equals math dot round we can open this up and we'll do math dot random 
and then we can do multiplied by negative 150, and then we can do minus 10, and then we can do let positive equals, and we'll do the same thing, so math.round, and we'll do math at random then we can multiply that by 300 this time and then we can do plus 10 then we can do const pos n equals and we'll get our negative and we'll get our positive and we'll put that in an array then we can do const amount equals math dot round then we can do math dot random and we'll multiply that by pos n dot length then we can do const value equals pos n and we're going to get amount then we can say if data dot wallet is less than or equal to zero we can return away interaction to apply it's a content and in here we can say you cannot rob this person because your wallet has zero dollars in it just like that and we'll make this informal all right so now we can say if value is greater than zero we can go ahead and open this up we're gonna say const positive choices equals and we can make an array we're gonna do you stole and then we can come down here and we can say the owner saw you and helped you rob you robbed and then you can say you took and you can add as many positive choices as you would like but that's all i'm gonna do for now and we can do const pos name equals math dot floor and we can do math dot random and we can multiply that by positive choices dot length we can make our first embed so we're gonna do const beg embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and say a color and that's going to be blue and we can say a title and this is going to be robbery success and then we can add fields and that's going to be name and we can say you robbed and and then we can do value for value we can open this up we'll do positive choices and then we can open this up and we'll do pos name and we can do a money sign and open this up and we'll do value and we can await interaction to reply then we can say embeds and we'll get our embed now we can come down here and do data.wallet plus equals value we can say with data.save and then we come down here and say data user dot wallet minus equals value and then we can do await data user dot save then we can say else if and we'll do value is less than zero we can open this up we can actually go ahead and copy everything in here because we're not going to actually type it out again so we'll copy this we'll come down here we can paste it in we can just edit our array so we can say you got caught by the cops and lost you left your id and got arrested you lost the person knocked you out and took you can do as many as you want but that's all i'm gonna do so now we can actually come down here and we're gonna do const wall equals data dot wallet and say if is nan and we can do value we can go ahead and return await interaction to reply and we can say content and in here we can say this user called cops on you but you ran away you didn't lose or gain anything and we can go ahead and make this informal now we can actually change this to negative choices down here we can replace positive Positive choices with negative choices we're gonna do let non symbol and we can say if value minus wall is less than zero we can go ahead and open this up we're gonna say const string value or string v for short equals we're gonna make the value variable a string just like that and then we can do non symbol equals weight string v slice and we're gonna do one now we can actually go ahead and copy this embed because we're gonna make an embed up here and we're just gonna call this loss and in here we can make this red and we're gonna do robbery failed in here we're gonna get our negative choices now up here we're actually gonna change this to negative name or that for short and in here we can put that variable in here as well and in this value area we're gonna do non symbol now we can actually go ahead and send this so we can do wait interaction to reply and we're gonna do embeds and we can do los just like that we're actually gonna add a return here as well so basically what's happening here is if your wallet doesn't have enough money to actually take out of it so let's say your wallet has one dollar but your robbery failed and you're supposed to have lost like a hundred dollars what would happen is your wallet would stay the same but we're actually gonna take that hundred dollars out of your bank so now we can finish this down here so we can do beg lost embed just like that and we're gonna make this red and we can say robbery failed and in here we can do negative choices and then we can do our negative name variable and then we can do non symbol as well then we can replace this with our beg and loss embed and we can keep all of this the same so now we're actually gonna go ahead and add a timeout down here so we can have a cooldown so you can't keep robbing the same person over and over again so we're gonna do timeout.push and we're gonna do interaction.user.id and then we can go ahead and set a timeout and we're going to go ahead and open this up with an arrow function and brackets and we can do timeout.shift so when the timeout ends we're actually going to remove this from the array that we created above and then we can go ahead and make this however long we want 
but I'm just gonna do 30 seconds. So that's gonna be three, zero, 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 and just like that. That's actually all we have to do for all of this stuff. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test all of these commands out. All right, so before we actually go ahead and start testing this out, I would like to say that if you would like to add the tutorial bot to your servers, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. This is the same tutorial bot that I've used in every single one of my videos. You can test out the previous commands. You can test out the new and upcoming video commands and all of that stuff by adding it to your Discord servers so if you'd like to do that feel free so now we can actually go ahead and start by checking our balance from the previous video so you're gonna notice that I have zero dollars in my wallet and I have a lot in my bank so let's try to put some of that into my wallet so what if we do withdraw and we do 100 for example it's gonna say successfully withdraw at hundred dollars and now if we do balance right here it's now gonna say I have one hundred dollars in my wallet but I have one hundred dollars less in my bank so now let's say I actually want to go ahead and deposit let's say fifty dollars back in to my bank so I can do deposit and 50 and as you can see if I check my balance again now I have $50 in here but that $50 that I deposited is now back into my bank one more thing I did actually mess up here is I'm supposed to actually send the bag embed but instead I just sent an embed that doesn't exist so just make sure you do bag embed in here as well one more other thing that I actually did forget to do somehow is right here we're just gonna go ahead and do data.bank and we're gonna do plus equals value then we do wait data.save then we can do data user dot wallet and we can do minus equals value we can do await data user save that's all we actually have to do so now we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test out our rob command so now if we actually go ahead and rob somebody in the server and we get this person right here it's going to say robbery success and it's going to say that i have robbed this amount of money so if we check my balance right here as you can see it's going to say that i now have 294 dollars more in my wallet than i did before so now if we try to do this again rob and we get that same person again it's going to go ahead and say wait one minute before trying to rob this user again you can keep doing this if you would like it's either going to be a negative number or a positive number um, and this will work pretty much every time you are going to have to wait 30 seconds in between you can always change the time in between rob commands by changing the set timeout if this worked for you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if it didn't and you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and me and my team will be able to help you out and with that i will see you guys in the next video